What kind of community do the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans live in? Bring it out! Talk to me. What's your name? John. Jonathan. Corey. All right, all praises. So, what kind of communities do the so-called Blacks, Hispanics live in? Deuteronomy 28 and verse. Uh, Minority. That's what they call us. Right. Right. But what kind of neighborhoods do we live in? Come on, Art. The ghetto. The ghetto. What would you say, Corey? Okay, so what go on in the ghetto or the hood? A lot of killing. A lot of drugs, right? Uh, what else? So a lot of a lot of killing, a lot of drugs, a lot of single parent households. Right. Let me ask you a question. In the hood, in the ghetto, what's the main religion? What religion is in the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American community? Teach on. You live here. You live here. What's your religion? <laughs> What's your religion? I have my religion in my country as a Yoruba. Nobody from the Nigerian people. Okay, so you from the tribe of Manessa. You're an Israelite, right? You're an Israelite. What about you? American American. African American. What's the religion of the African Americans? That's a good question. Bring it out, huh? What's the religion? Wake up! Teach, uh, talk to me. What's the religion? What religion did this to the so-called African American? Slaves and all that. Right. Hey, hey, just listen to the prophet. Same thing for you, you King. What religion did this to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Teach, uh, the what? The Christian. The Christian. Right. Bring it up. And if I turn this side. That's the Muslim. Right. Whoa. This is Ishmael and this is Esau. Right. Guess what both of them did? Whoa. They put the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in slavery. That's right. They gave them their religion. They gave them their false religion. Right. Whoa. These are man-made religion. What you see right here? John Smith. John Smith. Baptist. Creator of what religion? Baptist. The Baptist. Hey. Corey, you ever heard of the Baptist? You ain't never heard of a Baptist? Heard, what? Heard That's of all in the Black, Hispanic, and Native American That's community. That's right. Yep. But guess what? What were we? When was it created? 1608. What were we doing in 1608? We were slaves. Uh, make it plain. We were slaves. Right. Truth. So these religions did this to us. Right. And told us to believe. Guess what? This is your God. This is your new God. Right. Whoa. Who is this? Isn't that, isn't that, uh, I forget, I think it's, uh, Michelangelo. Yeah, Jesus. That's who, who is this, Corey? Jesus. This is Jesus? Hmm. Jesus. Watch this, give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Uh-oh. I'm gonna show y'all something, right? Come on. This Bible was written to, by, and for one people. Right. Oh, yeah. Watch this, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. 
but it shall come to pass. Have y'all ever heard of prophecy? Yes. You about to witness prophecy right now. Read what you got. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So I said, if you will not, he said it's going to happen in the future. If you don't listen to God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. That was the key part right there. He said to observe and to do all his what, Jonathan? All his commandments. He said if we did not observe and do all his commandments, read. And his statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, he said if we don't do his commandments. How you doing, sis? I'm pretty good. If So well, right now, we going over the main religion in the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American community. Make your point, Can you tell me right off the bat, what's the, what is our religion? If I look at a black person walking down the street, I'm going to automatically assume he what? Tell Make the truth. Way. Tell the truth. Who is this? Princess, who is this? Christian. There you go, Christianity. That's right. That's in our community. Right. And my princess just said, this is who? That's right. They say this is Jesus. Brother right. Corey right. said the same thing. You know why we think this is Jesus? She got, she got Read the verse again. Yeah. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said if we don't listen to his voice. Y'all know what the voice of God is? Huh? Let me do Deuteronomy 27 and 10. What's the voice of God? Hey, come here, Joe. Tell me, what's the voice? Anybody know what the voice of God is? It's all right. Because we coming with solutions. We not like the Christian pastor that's going to talk over your head. Right. We're going to tell you exactly what the voice of God is. Right, read. Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 10. Bring it out. And thou shalt therefore obey the voice of the Lord thy God. So now we're going to learn. The Bible says you must obey the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. Right. And do his commandments. What's the voice? Do his commandments. Oh, right. We got to do God's commandments. Right. So, the, so God's voice is his what? Right. His Word. commandments. It's his yeah, that's right. Commandment. So God's voice is his commandments. That's right. So give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Make it plain, because huh? in the Christian church, oh, we talk commandments. We talk commandments in the church? Yes, we Okay, okay. What kind of commandments are we talking? Oh, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Uh-huh. Kill. Uh-huh. What else? No adultery. Uh, oh, no adultery. Y'all love, love thy neighbor. Let me ask you a question. Are any of those commandments being kept in the so-called black Hispanic community? Make it plain. No. No, sir. No. I don't think no. it's being kept too much anywhere. It's not said. being kept. Right. So now, watch this. A food. You're not going to go to jail you're hungry. They're doing your thing. Why? Exactly. Because it ain't no mercy, no love in our community. That's right. But if this was the true religion, then guess what we'd be practicing? We be practicing that thing, That's right. but we don't see no judgment. We don't care. Right. We are yeah. spitting people. We are cursed people. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So we don't care. Every time, if we do, do if we do think what we're doing right, guess what? Nothing comes from it. You yeah. think you're walking pointlessly, right. but God is going. He bringing you true solutions right now. Right. Read the verse. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. He said, but it's going to happen in the future. This is this is what you call. Past. This is this is a prophecy. Yeah. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord God, what's, the, what's God's voice? His commandments. His commandments. That's right. He said, if you don't listen to his commandments, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. What's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said that curses would plague his people if they didn't keep his commandments. Right. When you look at our communities, do we have good communities or do we live in bad communities? We live in bad communities. Watch this. Read the next verse. Cursed shall thou be in the city. God said what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. What's the worst neighborhoods in Waco? Who lives in the worst neighborhoods in Waco? Bring it out. Black say Hispanics. God said, if, God said if you don't keep his commandments, that we will be cursed. One of his commandments is idolatry. Thou shalt not serve any other God before me. Right. My baby sister just said this is Jesus. Right. Give me Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. So that means when my niece pray, guess what she sees? Right. She see a white man. Right. 
and do a white man look like her dad. No. Yeah. Her daddy is direct. It's the direct hey, look, opposite that on film. Look, of what, of what this oh, Bible is. Oh, right. Oh, no, he the direct opposite. That's hey, pay attention. That's the reason why we out here. Yeah. Hey, that's the reason why we out here. Listen, hey. listen, watch this. Read it again. Read Re Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Because guess what? What's going on in our communities that distracts us? What is somebody say? If you want to hide something from a Negro, where do you put it, Corey? In a book. If, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Right. Watch this. Revelation 1, uh, 3. Read. The Bring book of Revelation, up. chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed up. is he that readeth. God said what? Hey, Blessed is he hey, that hey, readeth. God said what? Blessed is he that readeth. Bring it hey. up. Family, I need y'all to pay attention because the word of God is being sown. But guess what? There's a spirit in the earth that's trying to distract y'all from hearing the word of God. Right. God said, blessed is what? Blessed is he that read it. God said, blessed is he that read it. Have you ever read this image in the Bible? Have you ever read this image in the Bible? No, this is the image that you read in the Bible. This uh -huh. right here. This is what they said, what, what is said in the Bible, how he, he looked. Wait, why do all princesses, all young princes pray to this? Because it comes from slavery, that's what the, the slave owners, the slave owners, the slave owners taught us. Guess uh, what? Our generation, our people. I want, I want my people to serve God in a way that they're supposed to. You are supposed to be observing the word of God and keeping his commandments. One of his commandments is thou shalt have no other God before me. So if you see another God outside of this image, guess what it is? It's a false God. Revelations 1 and 3. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. Blessed is he that read him. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Read it again. Yeah. Blessed is he Let's that stop. read him. It's good. Stand back. Say it again. Read it again. Blessed is he that read him. The Bible says, blessed is he that read it. Revelation 1 and 1. Bring it up. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. I got a question. What does the word revelation mean? What does revelation mean? What's the root word? Reveal! Right. It means reveal. So revelation means what? Say it with me. Revelation means reveal. What does revelation mean? Reveal. Read one and one again. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Now, Brother Coy, what does revelation mean? All right. Let's help our brother out. What does revelation mean? To to what? To to reveal. Reveal. So watch this. Revelations one and one. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The what? Revelation of Jesus Christ. So now this is the revealing of our Lord and Savior. And as who? Who's our Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. So now we're about to reveal Jesus Christ. Y'all ready to see Jesus Christ? Bring it out! Are you ready to see Jesus Christ? Bring it out! I'm telling you, this ain't the last time you're going to see it. Right. So get your mind focused on God. Right. Revelation 1 and 1. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out! The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. So if there's another Christ that comes and don't look like this, it's a false God. That's Read verse 14. His head and his hair. So Jesus Christ, his head and his hairs read were white like wool. Were like wool. My brother in the red shirt, what's your name? Pussy. Touch your hair. What's your hair like? Wool. That's right. You look like Jesus Christ. You look like Jesus Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. So Jesus Christ had fully white hair. Bro. Princess, do this man got fully white hair? Is his hair all the way white? No. no. It's not. No. So this cannot be who? Jesus Christ. This cannot yeah, be Jesus Christ. Bro. Yeah, yeah. This cannot be Jesus Christ. Yeah, like now, hold on. Hold on. Um, take that cigarette. Go on. You got the babies right here. Uh, okay. So look at this. Watch this. Is his hair white like wool? So guess what? If you looking at this, who looks more like Jesus Christ? Which one look like Jesus? So we got some work to do. We got work to do. We still got work to do. I gotta show you what Jesus Christ looked like. Read verse 14 again. 
His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ, he has white and woolly hair. Right. Your hair is woolly. Mm -hmm. Your hair is woolly. Your hair is woolly. Your all everybody I'm looking at hair is woolly. Yeah. It's like nappy. They call it nappy. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, he had that type of hair. Yeah. Do this man got that type of hair? No. no. So he can't be Jesus. No. Read on. Verse 15. Verse 15. And his feet. And his feet. Watch this. Look at Brother Corey's feet. If you was only looking at his feet, wouldn't you be able to tell what color the rest of his body Make is? Yeah. Yeah. So now we about to look at Jesus Christ. What? His feet. feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Like it's what? Brown. Jesus brown. Christ had brown feet. Right. Do this man look like he got brown feet? No. no. Make it plain. So Jesus Christ has brown feet. Come on. So is this Jesus? No. 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 This right. can't be Jesus. Right. So guess what this will make this? This is a false God. Hey. 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 Read on. And his feet like a divine breath. Uh -huh. As if a bird in a furnace. If you burn white rice, yeah. what color is it going to turn? Red. Red. It, say it again. If you burn white rice, what color is it going to turn? Red. 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 She red. say red. Now, what color is Jesus Christ? Nice. Nice. What? White. What Not. color is Jesus Christ? Red. Red. Black. Black. And black. black. That's right. Jesus Christ is black. That's right. right. Yeah. So now what does that come with? In the if Jesus Christ was black, Christ. that would make his family black. Come on. Yeah. So was Jesus Christ a Jew? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was Jesus Christ a Jew? Yeah. 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 Somebody tell. Let me know, Clark. Uh, you say no? Uh, you say what, Brother Jonathan? No? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, we got one yes, two no's. You say what, Mama? Was Jesus Christ a Jew? I thought he was a... Was he a Jew? I don't know. You don't know. That's not what you know. said. Is Jesus Christ a Jew? Do we even know what a Jew is? No, we don't. Other than the negative. Bring it out. Stuff with this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I want y'all to see this. Y'all come look at this sign. You see this first tribe right here? Judah. Judah. You know what black folks love to do? We love to give folks nicknames. Right. We love to give folks nicknames. Right. Now look at this word right here. It's how many syllables? Two, right? What's the first syllable? Jew and then Duh. Judah. So now, black folks love to get nicknames. Where do you think that word Jew come from? The word Judah. That's right. It's a short word for the word Judah. Right. Judah was the head tribe in Israel. Right. So therefore, they called the whole nation of Israel Jew. Right. Judah. So Jesus Christ, we're going to see if he was a Jew. You got that Hebrew? I got it. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Read. For it is evident. So when you got evidence, when you got evidence of something, when you got evidence of something, that means you got what? Hey, my brother with the Super Mario shirt. What's your name? Tony. Tony. When you got evidence of something, that means you got what? Huh? Proof. That's right. So read the verse again. For it is evident. The Bible says it's evident. Meaning it's proven, read, that our Lord. That who? Our Lord. Who's our Lord? Jesus Christ, the black Christ. Messiah. He said it is evident that our Lord did what? Spring out of Judah. So Jesus Christ came from what tribe? Judah. So he will be what? An American black. black. He will be so-called American black. That's right. He will be living in the ghetto. Right. You understand? Jesus Christ is proving that he's a Jew. Right. And we just read that Jesus Christ was what color? Black. So what color are the Jews? Black. You think we can prove that in the way? Yeah. Wow. So. Give me Jeremiah 14. We the Bible shoot. is black. The, oh. Every single person in the Bible is black. That, not every single one, but you spot on. 90% yeah. of people in the Bible. Bring it out. 
are a dark brown color. They are uh, black. Check it out. He absolutely uh, right. But guess that? what? We've been taught these things for a long time, but it has not been proven out of the Bible. That's right. So what are we about to do? We're going to show you what color the Jews are. Right. Read Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it up. Judah morning. Judah morning. What's the short word for Judah? Judah. Judah is in morning. And more than me, they are impoverished. They're at the bottom, they're broken. Right. To mourn means to cry. Are we not crying as a people? No. Think about George Floyd. Right. Sandra Moss. Right. Think about the atrocities that happened. Bring it out. Our community. Teach out. We are in mourning. Read. Judah mourning. And the gates thereof language. And our leaders are lacking. Who represents us in the United Nations? Bring it up. Who speaks up for the so-called black and brown? Teach us. Not one person. Right. When you think of our leaders, guess who you think of? LeBron James. Right. Beyonce oh. knows. Right. Megan the Stallion. Right. These are not leaders. The Bible says the leaders are lacking. Read. And the gates they're of language. Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Read. Unto the ground. God said that the tribe of Judah is black unto the ground. That's right. Meaning That's different right. variations of brown. Right. right. You got light brown, right. dark brown, medium brown, right. super jet black brown. Right. You know what I'm saying? God said that the tribe of Judah, they are black. So what color are the Jews? Black. That's right. That's right. What color is Jesus Christ? Black. Black. So what is this? What? False God. That's, That's a false God. That's a false God. That's a false God. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and verse 25. That's Caesar Borgia. There you That's go. Right. The Pope's son. That's a liar. Right. That's a liar. Bring it out. Leonardo da Vinci's lover. Hey, gay lover. Gay uh -oh. lover. Right. They bringing out some real, uh, some real hard facts. So TikTok, when you man. pray, you got to reform your mind. Right. You got to shame your mind. You got to change your mind because I'm going to ask y'all a simple question. Yeah, we did a lot. My, my sister, what's your nation? What nation do you come from? Judah. That's right. What about you, sis? Judah. Oh, right. Yo, King, what's your nationality? Judah. You from Judah. Yeah, we high. high. Oh, you got to stand up like a mighty man. What about you, my brother? I'm two. No, okay. I see what you're saying. You think you mixed? I'm Mexican and Cuban. You Mexican and Cuban? I'm Ishikar. What's your father? And Manessa. I'm Ishikar. What's your father? He's Mexican. So then you would be from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. What about you, my brother? I'm Manessa. You would be from the tribe That's of right. Manessa. You see yourself on that sign on? What tribe yeah. you come from? Yeah. What tribe you come from? I come from Manessa. Give me First Kings 8. Right there, Judah. Say it, Judah. Judah. That's who you are. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.